come with emotion. Our cameras capturing this distraught woman escorted by police into their mobile command center. It was heartbreaking to be able to stand with the father and just listen to the pain he was going through. And us as a community, we need to come together. Welcome to Black Girl Silence. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Loving and kind and loyal is how her friends and family described her. She was very outgoing and a free-spirited individual. She was well known throughout the community and because of her outgoing personality, she made countless friends. Lashante Jones was a mother of a beautiful baby girl who was the apple of Lashante's eyes. The nurturing and unconditional love she displayed for her daughter is indescribable. Lashante was a young woman who believed in working hard and that dedication shined through all of her works. She began working with Walmart and later became employed with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Transportation Security Administration. 24-year-old woman was a TSA officer. She was killed right here behind me, gunned down. Her three-year-old was also injured, but that three-year-old said to be in stable condition. From this orange evidence marker to the stairs stained with dry blood, signs of the deadly shooting. Month. Around 3.30 p.m., Lashante and her daughter were found suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. At the Coral Bay Club Apartments in South Miami-Dade, the director of the TSA at Miami International Airport at the time, Daniel Ronan, gave a statement that reads, I am shocked and deeply saddened at the senseless act of violence that took a young vibrant officer away from her family and away from us way too soon. Words just cannot properly convey the immense loss of all of us are feeling at this moment. During the area canvas conducted by investigators, we were fortunate enough to retrieve surveillance footage from the complex's cameras which captured the incident. During the course of reviewing the footage that we had obtained, we were able to identify the subject vehicle as a gray 2019 Nissan Sentra. Additionally, we observed the victim and her minor child walking towards her apartment complex when a black male wearing a black hooded sweatshirt exited the vehicle with gun in hand and began firing at Ms. Jones and her child. As a result of the investigation and with the assistance of the Miami-Dade County State Attorney's Office, as well as our local and federal partners, we have been able to locate and arrest Javon Carter, charging him with the first degree murder of Lashante Jones and the attempted murder of her child. This is a case that not only devastated the family, but devastated the community. Shante was a very special young lady and her life was full of adventure and fun. She brought so much joy to everyone she met. Her infectious smile was unforgettable. After nine long months of hoping and praying for an arrest, the family of Lashante Jones can now breathe a huge sigh of relief. I spoke to the mother of Jones back in October of 2021. She told me her granddaughter thinks about the shooter that took her mom's life. Why the bad guy won't let the police get him? And... Police say that she was the mastermind of the plot against Lashante. According to records, Lashante dated an ex-boyfriend of Martinez's five years before her murder. Martinez was arrested for battery in 2016 after allegedly punching Jones in her face. The case was ultimately dismissed in 2018. Martinez was arrested by the police for attacking the Miami mother. Even after being arrested, Martinez wasn't quite done with Ms. Jones. And in 2020, Martinez's then boyfriend, Kelly Nelson, along with Keanu Queen, was arrested on charges of attacking and robbing Jones after a court hearing for Martinez on the charges of the 2018 attack, according to the Herald. This is Romeo Robinson. The affidavit against Robinson alleges that Martinez asked him to help Nelson 
Kurt Jones after Nelson was injured during a February 2021 fight while incarcerated for his alleged attack on Jones. Robinson agreed and he introduced Martinez into the shooter, Javon Carter. Another day in the office. A couple of Lucy's. Oh, there you go. Another bundle. Another her daughter, TSA agent Lashante Jones, was shot and killed last year as a mother was holding her little girl, the then three year old, grazed by gunfire but survived. Investigators believe Lashante was a victim of a murder for hire plot funded with a pandemic era paycheck protection program loan and that the mastermind was Martinez. This is Lashante's mom, Darlene Dukes. She has been in the front row of every court proceeding, front and center, in the fight for justice for Lashante Jones. Please be respectful.